yeah, but it's hard. You know, I, 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 uh, I need to learn how to, you know, you need to show me how to, how to turn down the noise in my mind. Because I haven't got time. We were making tie-dye shirts in elementary school. It was the mid-70s. It was a fad. It was a trend. It was, there was just nothing like it. We were all going to bring shirts and tie-dye. Trouble is, I got a polyester blend, which just doesn't take the dye as well. I remember it as if it were yesterday. I wanted to make a deep, deep blue and I ended up making something that kind of looked gray. It's kind of hard to tell where the rubber bands had been, and I was really proud of the pattern I had selected. I remember the pair of shoes that I dyed. They were orange. I was nearing the middle of my college experience, and I found a pair of white deck shoes at Marshall's. And I found some writ dye that only dyed natural fiber. So it only dyed the canvas of the shoe, and that rubber sole was bright white. I can remember it as if it were yesterday. And I can remember a guy, I'm not going to say his first name, but his last name was Mazacone, who found the shoes, wore them, and then went home with them at the end of the year. So, Mr. Mazacone, I hope you're enjoying the orange shoes. I hope you still have them, because I labored over them. I can remember it as if it were yesterday. And I remember the time that we had a tie-dye party in a bathroom one winter, marooned in the Midwest, cold, desperate, eating only ramen, maybe some other starches too, pizza. Someone decided that we needed to have a tie-dye party. People were tie-dyeing everything, handkerchiefs, long johns, underwear, shirts. We ended up using all of the sinks, two toilets, and then people's shower caddies. They weren't really shower caddies. They were buckets. This was before a shower caddy really had taken off. So it was just a bucket. You carried your washcloth, your lotion, your soap, your shampoo. That could all be emptied out and turned into a dyeing device. That one seems like a distant, distant memory. Not like something that just happened, but something that I'm, I'm telling only because I remember the memory. I don't directly remember the experience. I just remember remembering it because it's something that has floated around above my head along with the other pieces of the Calder Mobile. ¶¶